statement that is from Mr. Barubian is uh, thanks to us from Baklala, of course. I'm sure you have, you have a copy uh, that is in Basa Malaysia. That will be the full text. Let me just highlight the points that are, that are uh, in this statement. I'll just do it in English. Mr. Baru would like to congratulate all the successfully, uh, all the candidates that have been successful in the nomination that we have created history. This time we have 213 candidates. It's a record in itself. And it shows that democracy has bosom in Sarawak. There are many other records that has been set in this 10 state election. But the most significant, most significant record that we like to highlight is the fact that in this election, for the first time in Sarawak, that there is no one seat is uncontested. All the seats with Palisan National is all contested. In fact, we almost get the Pakatan Rakyat to one, one seat uncontested. It shows that the people are more mature the candidates now are more mature and under the democratic system it is a good thing because it shows that trades, corrupt practices and all this it doesn't work in this state election. Of course, we, uh, Mr. Baru, the next point that Mr. Baru pointed out is the role of the media. Uh, he's talking about the importance and the significance of media as the fourth estate in a democratic society. We hope that uh, you all can uh, help to make sure that the democratic system will continue to bolster. And Mr. Baru pointed out that in Sarawak, we need a complete change. The change that we need must be complete. That means to say, we need to change the chief minister, the ministers, to the system and culture of governance in Sarawak. It is, not, it is not useful just to parade some new faces or just to tell others that we have new faces in the lineup. But we must have a total change. The inclusion of the name of the former Chief Minister, Tai Mahmoud, in the BN's candidates list shows that if BN win in this election, the whole system, the state, will still remain. The problems that we are facing, the mistakes that we are highlighting, the, corrupt, the corruption, the abuse of power that we are talking about, that all the Sarawakians are concerned with, will still remain after this state election. And Mr. Barrow highlighted that the, even the fact that this is well known, that Najib has tried to persuade Tai to step down, but he failed to persuade him because of his might, all due to his wealth. And the wealth comes from Sarawak, of course, from the people of Sarawak. So in this respect, we are saying that a vote for BN is a vote
to return to the old system that we all uphold. This, of course, Mr. Baru gave an example of the case of Tio Bang Ho. After what happened to Tio Bang Ho, of course, you can change the, the director general of the MACC. But after two years, now it get back, get back to the to the old system. Another, another person died in MACC. So it's actually useless to have a new to say that we have got new faces coming in because the system must be changed. The culture of the government must be changed. <coughs> so we hope that with this wind of change that is blowing across Sarawak, all the people in Sarawak will make up their mind on the 16th of April to really vote for change. Their vote to go to Pakatan Rakyat. Their vote is a vote to reject BN, to be to reject the chief minister, the former chief minister. And lastly, I'd like to illustrate our PKR's challenge to the former chief minister to a debate on the land grabs. And we are going to distribute a plan a leaflet across the whole of Sarawak on the evidence of land grant, on the cases that we have throughout Sarawak.